As humans, we've always been fascinated by the mysteries of the universe and the vastness of space. With the advancements in technology and space exploration, the possibility of traveling to distant planets like Neptune has become a topic of great interest. But how long would it take for us to reach this gas giant? The answer is more complex than one might think. Join us on this journey as we explore the time it would take humans to travel to Neptune and the challenges of such a mission. It is also important we consider the implications of such a journey and the potential impact on humanity. Did you know that Neptune is the eighth planet in our solar system? This gas giant is also the fourth largest planet and has many unique physical characteristics. Despite being smaller than its nearest gas giant neighbor, Uranus, Neptune actually has more mass due to its incredible density. This means that its gravity is so strong that it squeezes the planet's atmosphere, allowing it to fit more mass into a smaller space. It takes Neptune approximately 164.8 Earth years to orbit the Sun, which means that one Neptunian year is nearly 165 times longer than an Earth year. Additionally, Neptune rotates once every 16 hours, meaning a day on Neptune is 8 hours shorter than Earth's. It's also worth noting Neptune's distance from the Sun, as it is the planet farthest away from our star at a distance of around 2.8 billion miles. It's hard to imagine that kind of distance, but to put it in perspective, that's 30 astronomical units away from the Sun. In comparison, the Earth is only one astronomical unit away. With that kind of distance, it takes sunlight a staggering four hours to reach Neptune. Around 4.5 billion years ago, Neptune emerged from the process that created the entire solar system. Its genesis involved the gravitational attraction of scattered dust and gas, aggregating to form the colossal planet we recognize today. Along with Uranus, Neptune is thought to have originated much closer to the Sun before relocating to the outer reaches of the solar system roughly 4 billion years ago. Did you know Neptune may be hiding a secret ocean? That's right. Scientists have discovered that the planet's cold clouds may cover a scorching hot body of water underneath. But how is this possible? Well, the answer lies in the planet's high pressure, which keeps the ocean trapped and prevents it from boiling away. Neptune is not your typical solid planet. Its atmosphere, made of hydrogen, helium, and methane, extends deep into the planet. As you go deeper, the atmosphere gradually transforms into a liquid ocean of melted ice surrounding the rocky core, with a mass similar to Earth's. It's truly remarkable what we can discover about our universe. Neptune is also the windiest planet in our solar system, with winds up to nine times stronger than Earth's. These winds sweep clouds of frozen methane across the planet at rapid speeds of over 1,200 miles per hour. Neptune also has its own storm, the Great Dark Spot, which was discovered in 1989 and could contain the entirety of Earth. While the original storm has disappeared, new ones have appeared in different areas of the planet. How long would it take to get to Neptune? After the demotion of Pluto to dwarf planet, Neptune takes the crown as the most distant planet in our cosmic neighborhood. This ice giant and its sibling Uranus are a true wonder of our solar system. It was even discovered in the modern era, making it a relatively new addition to our understanding of the universe. Galileo first observed Neptune as a fixed star in the night sky, but it was later proven to be a planet by the brilliant Erbian Joseph Laverrier. As technology advances, our thirst for exploring the vast expanse of space grows stronger by the day. What lies beyond our planet has always been a source of wonder and fascination, and now we have our sights set on the mighty Neptune. But just how long will it take us to reach this far-off destination? Well, that depends on our chosen path and where Neptune and Earth are in their orbits at launch. Take the Voyager 2 spacecraft, for example. It embarked on its journey on August 20, 1977, and finally arrived at Neptune on August 24, 1989, a thrilling 12-year odyssey, and still the only spacecraft to visit this distant planet. Who knows what discoveries await us on our next mission to the far reaches of our solar system? 
Neptune, the enigmatic planet that lies beyond our reach, is a mystery waiting to be unraveled. As scientists grapple with the best ways to explore this distant world, they also face the daunting challenge of figuring out how long it would take to get there. Imagine being able to embark on a space journey to Neptune today. The trip would take a whopping 10 years, assuming you have access to a super-fast spacecraft and everything runs like clockwork with no room for error. However, let's face it, the chances of such a smooth journey are slim. Nevertheless, even reaching the outer reaches of our solar system would still be the adventure of a lifetime for most people. To put things into perspective, Neptune is just 30 times further from the Sun than Earth. However, it's so massive that it holds more mass than all of the other planets in our solar system combined. Incredible, right? If you could travel at the speed of light, it would take you approximately four hours to reach this colossal planet. But until that day comes, we can only dream of what it would be like to explore the furthest reaches of our solar system. It's so unfortunate that we don't have any spacecraft that can go that fast, yet. But keep hope. Imagine finding a cozy spot and enjoying the breathtaking view from Earth. Who knows what the future holds? With some luck and incredible technological advancements, you may be able to embark on that journey yourself one day. Speculations on the duration required to travel to Neptune Many intriguing ideas are circulating about how long it would take to travel to Neptune. Some scientists contend that a space shuttle would need approximately six years to reach the planet, whereas others estimate that the journey could take up to 30 years. Then again, specific experts believe it might be possible to get to Neptune in as little as two years if we could only harness the power of nuclear fusion. Nevertheless, the technology required for such a journey has yet to be developed, rendering it impossible to know how long it would take to reach Neptune. In the meantime, we can continue studying the distant planet and dream of visiting it one day. What are the different methods to get to Neptune? There are not one, but two thrilling ways to reach the majestic planet Neptune. The first method is called direct insertion, where you rocket straight from Earth to Neptune using either chemical or nuclear propulsion. It's a speedy journey of 12 to 16 years, the quickest of the two methods. However, it requires substantial fuel, making it impractical for most expeditions. The second way to reach Neptune is through the daring method of orbital transfer. This involves using gravity-assisted maneuvering to spiral from Earth until you reach Neptune's orbit. It's a slow but thrilling journey that will take you to one of the most awe-inspiring planets in our solar system. Although slower and using less fuel, this approach is more commonly used for missions to Neptune, taking between 25 and 30 years. How long would it take the shuttle to travel to Neptune? If the shuttle could maintain a steady speed of 18,000 miles per hour, reaching Neptune would take roughly 13 hours. However, the shuttle would require acceleration to attain this velocity, and then deceleration upon nearing Neptune, making the actual travel time much longer than this. This is due to the impossibility of the physics involved. Moreover, refueling stops would be necessary along the way, further extending the duration of the journey. As a result, it may take several days or even weeks for the shuttle to arrive at Neptune. As mentioned earlier, it would take approximately 4.5 hours to travel to Neptune at the speed of light. However, it's currently impossible for any object to travel at the speed of light, let alone exceed it. Therefore, it's inconceivable to experience zipping across our solar system at incredible speeds. The journey to Neptune is long and daunting, but with advancements in technology and space exploration, it may become a reality in the future. The exact amount of time it would take to reach Neptune depends on various factors, such as the spacecraft's speed and the planet's alignment. However, one thing is for sure. We must continue to push the boundaries of science and technology to uncover the mysteries of our universe and explore the outer reaches of our solar system. Who knows what incredible discoveries await us on our journey to Neptune and beyond? We hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to share your thoughts down below and join us next week for more space-thrilling news.